And uh, yeah, I looked it up and it's based on Revenge of the Fallen Sideways. So uh, yeah. And it is a nice little red car and I'm so glad it's just not a Bumblebee repaint. Especially after noticing on those boxes how it's like a clone of Bumblebee. It really would bother me if uh, if they were <sighs> just more Bumblebee. But it makes me worry for the deluxe. So uh, yeah, that's it. You know, nice little paint apps. And they actually painted the lights, which is good. A little bit sloppy, but not bad. You see nice little Decepticon symbol up there. Yeah, there it is. And lots of little details for a small car. A lot of little details. And it looks pretty good. So, let's go and transform him into his robot mode. If we can. So, we move out this. And we move out this. So, we're moving out these parts here. And they're going to come here and flip out the legs right here, legs right here. Of course, this flips down to here. Again, let me try that one more time. So this part flips down here. This comes around to here. And this comes around to here. And we are done. And, and that is... Stinger for this set And the paint job is well you could see it It's a bit messy for the face I mean so and of course this is not what he's gonna look like It's just you know hey we need to put one little figure in there with him Well let's throw this guy in all right And so there you go and he's got these weird little I don't know little legs not really a nice looking figure at all. So, uh, yeah, but there he is. So, uh, Stinger, I, if I had something to compare him to, I would, but I don't. So, uh, yeah, we'll move on to Slug, the purple dinosaur. All right, here we have Slug in his Triceratops mode. And surprise, surprise, it actually looks like a Triceratops. Now, like I said before, this is Gwildart from Beast Wars Neo. And Beast Wars Neo actually has some of my favorite characters. I mean, I really love Longrack, that's a giraffe, and Heinlad. Heinlad is one of my favorite. Also, Big Convoy came out of him, which was the Woolly Mammoth Optimus Prime. I mean, so many great figures came out of there. So, I'm happy to be able to get this guy. And he can hang out with his friends. So, for me, I'm really happy. Now, just to show... But also, if he's Beast Wars Neo, he probably has one more mode. And I'd have to check online. One more really weird attack mode. So, let's just take a look real fast. And he does have some sort of... I don't know if he's supposed to be dead there. And then you push his horn, and he's alive. Oh, I'm dead! I'm alive because his eyes flip and it looks like there's a pupil there that they didn't paint if you can see it I'm not sure you can inside there that eyeball you probably can see it but yeah but really you can see a lot of nice details on this figure just a lot of really nice texturing and it really looks exactly like what it should what it's supposed to be i mean i really do enjoy this and then we have the old and then the new and i'm sure this is probably a pentaceratops because one two three four wait one three i don't know how to count pentaceratops all right i think it was because he got more than three horns and, uh, yeah, so right here, and it looks like a skeleton. And I just really, I, I, I just don't like this dinosaur aesthetic that they put on these guys. It's just me. It might just only be me, and I'm the only one 
you know, for the, like, I like Straffy. Straffy is awesome, but, but this guy, no. And I did like, um, Straffy and Scorn. Scorn looks good, but then for some reason, he's got this real bony look to him. Straffy seems to avoid it a bit. And, you know, I don't know why. So, uh, yeah, let's go and uh, transform Slug into his robot. Alright, and here we have Slug, or Gildart, Gildart, whatever his name was. But, um, for the Beast Wars and Neos, for the dinosaurs, they had like a dead mode. So you can see here where... If it were painted on the inside, the red and the white for the ribs, it looks like he's dead. And also, you know, here they could have painted in there. And for the leg, this back calf, you can see a little line there. And that would be like painted like meat. And normally it's supposed to go like this, but in dead mode you pull it out. And just some extra feature that they had for the um, Beast Wars Neos. So, uh... Let's go in to transform this guy. And one thing I will say, like, storage for the missiles. They actually have storage on the missiles. So we can separate these bottom part, roll it here. And I'm already going to go and turn the shoulder down. Right there. Okay, once we do that, now we're going to take the feet and we're going to move out the feet right here. And this goes up. Our feet go like this. Move the feet out. Hopefully my battery does not die before I finish this because, oh man, I've done this a few times. Pull out the tail. Tail gun right there. Okay, so we got tail gun, we got this, we got this. Oh, these feet go up in the air like this. All right. Now move out the shoulder and we're going to see a little arm here. We're going to rotate the elbow because it's going to allow us to spin the body. And we're going to move back his tail. And this is really a lot of panel forming. So, um, yeah. If you know what that is, that means there's going to be a lot of panels in the way. So we move his waist together here. And then we're going to go to the front and we're going to just... Hold on a second. Move this out of the way. This one too, and then we're going to spin the top of his body. So we're spinning this so it's like this. And then we're going to have to move these guys. And here's where it gets tough because, well, you'll see. So we'll just move these panels back here for now out of the way. Shoulders. Now this shoulder here comes down. Shoulder comes down right to here. Shoulder comes down there, and you've got this part over here. There's no real good way to leave that shoulder. I mean, they show it kind of like this. You could do that if you want. For the other shoulder, we have this right here, and he's got a Megatron arm. I mean, it's just the head. That's all it is. Like this, like this. And then the back, what you get in the back is just a mess. And it really is, and you just have to try to move things around. Because these are on a hinge. But you really can't put it here because it blocks too many things. This can go down here. There really isn't a good way to have this. Except maybe, maybe just make this big messy pile back there like this the shoulders here this is here oh also he's got these little little guys here and here okay and he's got missile storage right here for his gun now this is his gun tail gun and yeah there it is with the autobot symbol and right here there's where the handle is and the trigger and if we just pull out one of these guys just uh, yes he fell down all right 
we have this and you know of course it will shoot no problem so there he is and I'm up to change batteries and get the close-up and compare them to the uh, other slug the modern slug all right all right and there we have slug and man it's a real shame that they painted his face white because you can't really see that great face I, and that's one of the things i really like when i had gildart is that um gildart is that his face was really just this awesome awesome face and it loses a lot I mean, you could kind of still get it. It's really just an angry, angry face. Also, during the break, when I was changing batteries, I looked on the back of the packaging. Kind of, they say like this to do it like this, which is put these two here, move this part up, but you end up with this big backpack in it. Yeah, there is one other option, and that is these are on ball joints, so if you wanted, you could just pop them off to make it uh, easier for you. If you want, because I know a lot of people are like, no, you can't do that. But, you know, if you like it. For me, he's gonna be in Dinobot mode. Dinosaur mode, I should say. So I'm not gonna worry about that. And again, this, however you like to do it. The gun for me doesn't really work, because he got this itty bitty hand, and if you put this on there, it just looks too, too much for me. Now, Let's go and compare him with his modern version. Well, or actually, he's he's just a repaint, and this is the modern slug. And uh, yeah, so there he is. And between these two, well, I definitely give the beast mode to the dinosaur mode to this one, Gildart. But this guy does have the advantage in the uh, robot mode, just with articulation and everything. Even though his shoulders do hinder him a lot. A lot. So, yep. There you go. Just the comparison size-wise. And let me just spin him again to the back. So you can get a look back over here and take a look at the back over here. And I, I actually do really like uh, his back. It looks cool. I think. I like the way it looks. Alright, come back to the front. And I'll go over the articulation real fast. So for articulation, in this arm, he's got the shoulder. It's on a ball joint, so he can go all the way around. Okay, after that, right above the elbow, and he's got an elbow 90 degree, is... A swivel so he can swivel there so you got there for this arm is much more limited because of all this so you can move things around but from this point there is a joint here that goes up and down and it does spin so from this joint up here you can spin you can go up and down okay and here he does have a little movement within to move like this side to side and his elbow is on a ball joint but again you're limited by all this kibble that's on him um his spin is hindered completely by the backpack for his legs he does have a ball joint so you can spin all the way around okay again you have to move these things around to do it He's got a kind of double knee. He's got this little movement here. And then he's got the rest of the knee that goes all the way up. And he has the tilt for the toes. So he does have a lot of articulation. But unfortunately, the backpack and all make things much... Wow, look at that. More difficult. So, um... Yep. That's pretty much all we got for, uh... For him, I mean, I like it because I'm a Beast Wars Neo fan. And also, I really like the dinosaur mode. So, uh, yeah, that's what he's going to stay in. So, uh, let's get to the summation. All right. All right, it's time for the summation. So, what do I think about Stinger and Wheel Dart? I mean, um, 
What was that slug? Yeah, slug. I get them confused. I was going to say slag, but no, slug. So what do I think about them? Well, I think this is a very nice set. I mean, well, Stinger is just kind of like, he's there. He ain't bad. He ain't good. He's just there. It's an extra. It's gravy. But for me, getting Slug or Gwildart, now that's where the bonus is. Because I do like this figure, and I done had him before, but I did get rid of him. So, uh, yeah, I miss him. I missed you. So I'm glad to have him back. He's a nice figure, and I like him. Now, before anybody says something like, Well, wait, Felsba, he's a purple dinosaur, and he's got a head for a hand. Em, hold on. Handy hands, will you please? Yes, thank you very much, handy hands. You were saying what? Now, hold on. Hold on a second. Let me move that camera up. Yeah. You were saying what about a head arm and a purple dinosaur? Yeah. I didn't think so. Anyway, let's get back. Handy hands move that. That's right. So that's what I think. If, you're, if your complaint is that he has a head for an arm, well then, you know, that's your business. But for me, if you like Beast Wars Megatron, if you enjoy the Beast Wars, Beast Wars Neo, yeah, you're going to enjoy it. And I mean, I'm kind of glad because I do like the more realistic dinosaurs and what they're giving us now. So, is it nice? Yes, it's nice. Is it shiny? Yes. When you say Beast Wars Neo, I am there. I love Beast Wars Neo. So, nice, shiny. Is it good? Yes, it is good. And I got to say, for some reason, this one don't feel cheap to me. So, um, yeah, nice, shiny, good, time for eating. Eh, shit I or shit I? Oh, why not? Um, oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. So, nice, shiny, good, and good toys. Good toys. Peace, Wars Neo! Bye!